Okay, time to jump off my diving board. Whee! Wait, what? Why is there a hole in my pool? What happened? Hey guys, welcome back to my sanctuary, and now I have another problem with my swimming pool. There's a leak in it, and now it flooded my entire backyard and broke a lot of the crops. And uh, look, here's the piece of the pieces of the pool that fell out. Now it's flooded the pathway. This is a huge mess. Uh, well, at least now I have like a water a waterfall. Now, actually, if I could neaten this up, this would be kind of cool. Something I, I like to do is take problems and turn them into not problems. So maybe I can make something cool out of this. You know what? Today, I am going to be making a water fountain uh, or uh, with a waterfall on the top. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah. So first, I need to make some sort of wall around this waterfall so it doesn't spill everywhere. And I'm already getting some ideas. I'm going to make it out of, like, lapis and out of uh, blue stained glass. Blue, cyan, light blue. Okay, I'm, I'm getting an idea of what I want. Okay, uh, here's my lapis. All of this stuff is in the last uh, Discovering the World video. I went to a city where they had a lot of buried treasure, so I took all that. Okay, I probably don't need all this lapis, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it in my hand just in case. Okay, this, this should be more than enough. Right, 20, 28 lapis? Yeah, definitely, definitely more than enough. And at some point, I need to get food, by the way. Okay, time to clean up this mess. Uh, I guess I'll do it like this. Like, I want to have a gap between this and the, and the, my sort of, this is the sort of barn house, not barn house, farmhouse, where I store all of my crops and stuff. So I want it to look kind of like this. And I guess I would like it to be even, so how many blocks is this going to be? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I actually might need some more lapis. 9, 10. You know, actually, I want this to be more symmetrical, so I'm going to have this be one more block inwards. So, yeah, I'm going to let the I'm gonna let the water spill out again. And I'm not going to have to speed this up because there's not that much building involved. Like when I built my theater, which was huge... I, I did speed that up, but this time it's not that much, it doesn't involve that much work. Okay, so yeah, if I have the wall extend out to here, then this should be good. Or, you know what I could do, I just had an idea. I could have it go kind of diagonally instead. Okay, I'm going to break all these blocks in. I think I actually will, in fact, need more lapis. I'm going to have to break all the flowers. Sadly, I don't like breaking the flowers because they look cool, but... Um, it's okay, I can replant them somewhere else. It's not like they're gone. So, if I have this, then I guess I can... I guess I can make it loop around. So, it is time to make another crafting table. Since I'm crafter, man, I always litter crafting tables. And you know what? I'm totally, totally designing this on the spot as I go. I'm gonna put a crafting table right in the middle here. And I'm gonna leave it there, because, you know, why not? It's, uh, I always like finding creative ways. So this episode didn't really have much of a plan. Like, the theater obviously had a big, big plan. This, I'm, I'm just kind of rolling with it. I wasn't even planning to make a video today. But there's actually going to be a snowstorm where I live in a few days. And I might lose power. So, you know, why not? Okay. Uh, I put this here and then I guess I break the... Alright, this is what I have so far for my waterfall. Do I need anything else? Maybe I'll put that here and then put some dirt here to cover cover this up and a little bit more dirt here. That is looking good. Now it's time for to get a bucket. And you know what I you know what I also need? I need some glowstone. First, before anything, I need to get a snack, because I am hungry. Uh, is there anything in here? No, just meat. I feel bad eating meat in front of you know what? Never mind, I'm, I'm not a vegetarian. I'm not vegan. I can eat the meat. I'll have some raw mutton. And then I'll go upstairs. You know what's funny? I feel bad eating meat in Minecraft because I feel bad for eating animals, but I don't feel bad in real life. Maybe I'm, like, messed up or something. I don't know. 
Like, in, in so, sometimes I've decided to go vegan in Minecraft, but I gave it up when I realized I'm not vegan in real life, so that'd just be total hypocrisy. Anyway, uh, here's some glowstone. glowstone. So I can make some glowstone. And you know what? Just for the heck of it, I'm going to make lapis out of everything else. Now, I don't think I have any glass. I think I used it all up recently, so I'm going to have to get some more sand. But I just thought of another thing. I'm thinking of everything on the spot here. Maybe I can make some of the waterfall flow into the ocean. And, yeah, so I can make it flow into the ocean. Here's my kitchen, by the way. You know what? I'm going to microwave myself some of this mutton. So what I, the way I do this is you can actually put stuff in the microwave, and it dings when it's done, and it actually gives you cooked stuff. I can use my microwave. This is just a, a day of me chilling out at home. So I, I'm pretty confident it's going to work. It's worked every time I've done it. Hey, there we go. It beeped, and I got some cooked mutton. You know what? I'm going to turn up my, my sound. Just, I'll make it obnoxiously high so that you guys can really hear the beep. I'm pretty sure you heard it, but... Hey, here we go. Another piece of mutton. I'm going to wait for one more. Man, I really got to... Maybe I'll do a cooking episode soon. And... Yeah, th this painting looks kind of like a, a microwave dish. A little bit. I don't know. Okay, now I have, I have enough snacks, and there should be some meat lying on the floor when I'm done. That sounded a bit weird. Okay, now... I have this, I need to now get some sand, and I think what I'll do is I'll make sort of a path, a path of sand for the water to drain out into the ocean, so I can have a, a stream of water going from the waterfall into the ocean. So I'm going to need some glass, so yeah, I'm just going to dig out like this, I'm just sort of making a diagonal pathway. And this, this should be more than enough glass. I'm going to have, like, glass blocks, glass panes. And you know what would also be cool uh, is if I had end rods. I haven't really used them much, but they look really cool, especially with glass. When I went to Exa Squires um, and more uh, Kerbo Montage's place, they had end rods all around their library, and I thought it looked awesome. But I don't have any end rods. I'm going to have to go to the end to get that. You know what? In my next video, maybe I can go to the end or something. So, I'm going to put this sand in the furnace, and yeah, then I will be back. Uh, okay, uh, there's something in there. I, I, I was smelting stone for the theater, I think. Okay, here we go. Put that in there. Alright, guys, I've got some glass. I already made some blue stained glass. Now I'm going to make a bit more. And I'm also going to make light blue stained glass and cyan stained glass, if I can, if I can find some green dye to make that. I'm also going to make, like, purple or something. Okay, let's have some light blue uh, glass, and then I'm also going to make some light blue glass panes. Uh, what else? Now I'm going to make some purple dye. I'm going to need one piece of lapis in order to do that. Do I have, like, any? That's yeah, okay, I'll just make this. I'm, my, my inventory is going to be full of different colored dyes now. Okay, let's make some purple purple dye, and then, okay, can I make this, no, I can't make it with less than eight, I need to wait till I get eight of this, but that always takes a while, okay, I have seven, I'm gonna wait for one more of those, and let's see, do I have any sort of cactus, anything green, anywhere, anywhere, uh, sadly not, that's okay, cyan glass never looks that interesting anyway, uh, yep, I was right. There's there's nothing. Although maybe I could get some. Let's see. Would this give me like magenta dye or something? Yeah. Well. Okay. I can I can use that. Maybe for something. I don't know. So. Let's see. This yeah. This is done. So now I can make some. Do I do I want more blue? Yeah. I'll I'll make more blue. I don't need more purple right now. Uh, more blue. Oh wait. No. I forgot. I have to make. The blue, blue die first. I still have like a 1.7 mindset when playing Minecraft. Okay, so we got some blue stained glass, and we got some uh, blue glass pane. Let's see, is there any wool? There's one, one piece of wool. I might add wool to the bottom later, but for now, let's add some uh, glowstone, like along the side here. 
I'm eventually going to replace this glass with other other things at the bottom. I'm going to replace this, uh, not this glass, this grass. The grass with things like a lapis and blue colored wool. So what I'm, my plan for the, for the glass pane is to have it, let's see, if I, uh, I know if I do this, they'll be sticking up, and I want them to be sticking up like this. If I do this, will they connect? No, I, yeah, I don't want them to connect. So I'm just going to have, like, them go every other, uh, every other block like this. So yeah, that's going to be, like, spikes on the top. I think that's a, a pretty cool boundary for the fountain. And yeah, here we go. It's, it's okay if this connects, I guess. There's no strict architectural rules to this. This is kind of like going to look like modern modern architecture, even though I don't like modern architecture. It's still going to look like that. I, I can do it occasionally. Like, my, my church is in, like, a very classical, Baroque-style architecture, so I think I can give myself a pass here. I don't know. I just don't, don't think modern architecture looks good. I People say there's something to it, but it really does not involve that much quality. But I am still, nevertheless, going to make a modern-looking sculpture right now. So I'm going to have some blue glass here, and then some here. This is just going to look sort of like a sort of like a modern sculpture, I guess. So it's going to go like that and like that. Break this dirt. The dirt is just so I can pile up so I don't have to break any of the glass. And let's see, why not have, um, why not have some glass paint attached to this? So, I mean, you kind of like see through it. This is kind of my sculpture. Doesn't look that impressive, but it's, it's just supposed to be, like the thing with modern architectures, you can kind of build anything and it'll work. That's why I say modern art doesn't require that much skill, but at least it's easier to do. Okay, uh, maybe I'm gonna put... Oh wait, does that not work? That stops the water. Okay, I don't want to do that. Never mind. I'm gonna have to break this and I... That kind of sucks, because I don't like having to break glass. Anyway. Now time to place lapis on most of these blocks, except for a few where I'm gonna have some, uh, light blue... Light blue wool, I've decided. Okay, so the lapis is gonna go down here. And I'm gonna... Maybe I'll save some of the lapis by scattering it. More. So four of them go here. Maybe I'll have some. See, I have more glowstone, right? Yeah, I do. Have more glowstone go here. And like I said, I'm gonna want to get some end rods because those are those are really cool. Okay, is there anything? Let's see, I should put some glowstone here. Now it's time for me. I'm gonna swim back up this waterfall. It's cool that you can swim up waterfalls in Minecraft. You cannot do that in real life. Because I know where I do have some where I do have some uh wool. So I'm gonna get a stack of blue wool. I use this to make the walls of the top of my house. If you uh let's see, can I jump over this? If you look the, my house is, has like blue walls, man, I can't see it from here. If you look from over here, yeah, you see the light blue? So, I'm gonna use this for whatever I didn't replace with lapis blocks. So this is gonna be the, this is gonna be the floor of the fountain. Again, in real life, uh, you could not have a floor of a fountain made out of wool. That would just get really soggy. But I like how physics in Minecraft are a... No, I did not mean to break that. I like how physics in Minecraft are a very different thing. Okay. Let me replace this as best I can. I'll just do this. I'll try not to break that again. Okay, here we go. Just have some wool right over here. I'm going to have to play, replace most of this with wool. Like that. Maybe I'll have a lapis block here. And uh, I'm I'm waiting till it uh, until it's nighttime so that I can actually appreciate the way this is lit up. Because in the daytime you can it's kind of just transparent, but hopefully in the nighttime it'll look better. So this is looking pretty cool, but I can make it cooler. I know I can add more more glass and stuff. So I think. Uh, once I, 
once I replace this with lapis. And yeah, I am still going to put the crafting table there, because I think that just looks pretty cool. Uh, um, yeah, once, once I do this now, I am going to get some more glass. So let's see how much glass has smelted. Probably not that much because the furnace is really slow today. I guess it's I guess it's still cold or something. I don't know. But let's see how much glass do we have? Oh, we have we have a decent amount actually. Uh, let's see what what can I what can I throw out? I guess I don't need these two pieces of glowstone dust. Okay. Uh, I now that I think about it, I don't really need magenta so I'm just gonna make some purple glass panes and what I would like is some more some more blue glass uh, maybe maybe I'll keep the magenta glass just a little bit in case I decide I want some of it okay so now yeah now I have nine more pieces of blue stained glass this is good so now I can add more little glass structures to to my thing over here so, I'm going to get my blue glass and my purple glass pane, so I can do things like that, and, uh, let's see, I can do that, I, I just want to have some things sticking out here, and maybe I'm going to, on some of these spikes, I'm going to add a purple one on top of the, the blues and the light blues, so yeah, now, th now this is looking pretty cool, I think. Now I got a pretty cool looking fountain. And you know what? Maybe I'll maybe I'll add uh, some like blue wool and lapis for the for the border here. I mean sorry, blue glass and lapis. And my last piece of lapis can go on the on the other border right over here. And a purple stained glass there for good measure. Okay, I think we are just about done. There's just one thing we need. I think it would look really cool if we had some end rods, because end rods always look really cool. Oh uh, wait, maybe I'm gonna add some more purple glass panes like this. Okay, now, now this is looking like an awesome. Fit. Wait, wait, no, I said I was. Actually, no, yeah, I'm gonna. When I get end rods, I'm gonna add end rods to my sculpture, as well as these little spikes. I might even add some floating spikes. So what I'm going to do. In my next two videos, I'm going to get some end rods, but I'm going to record those next two videos before I'm done recording this video. So you're going to see sort of a skip ahead in time while I do those next two videos. And I'm still going to post this video before the next two videos, but yeah. So in a little while, I'm going to be back with some end rods. Okay, guys, I just went to the end. I, the, I spent two videos in the end, and they're going to be posted after this video. I saw a lot of crazy things. I do not want to go back there, ever. A lot of really freaky things, but I did get the end rods. So that is what matters. So now let's go back to my little pretty pool decorations after fighting weird, scary end monsters. These pool decorations are exactly what I need. So uh, I place this here and, I don't know, maybe here. Okay, yeah, this is cool. Now. Let's see, get some get some glass pane. Yeah, then I can have some little uh I wanna have like floating floating uh end rods with glass on top of them. Kinda like this. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. And then on top like this. Hey, this is looking cool. I I just went from like fighting weird floaty end monsters to now just making this little thing. Okay, this is cool. So now, um, I think I I think I have room for for one more of these little things. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna wait until nighttime so we can see what this looks like at night. Okay, guys, this is looking pretty awesome. I'm gonna climb up in this tree so I can see it a bit better. Uh, yeah, that is exactly what I wanted it to look like. So I traumatized myself going to the end and seeing some very weird things. But at least I got a really awesome fountain. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.